audience, it's James Kong. Half Ash Reporter. And it's a Tuesday night. And we're in Chelsea, all the way on the west side. And we're gonna try to go in and uh, get some views. Wow, look at all the limos out here. We're gonna try to get some views of a, an exhibition by Mark Rochin here at Gagosian on West 24th Street. Okay, well, if you've watched the uh, calm report, you know that in many cases they shut me down before I get too far in here, so we'll see. The title of the show is New Capri Capri and Free Capri. We'll see how far we can get. Okay, well, it's late. And uh, I was busy making gluten-free crust for Kate. So I uh, had to jump on my bike, plus it's a Tuesday. And many times I only go out maybe on a Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Well, as I understand, this is... Uh, Mark's largest show to date and if I can remember what it said in the press release uh, this work was all originally I guess the original body of work was inspired by an invitation that he had to exhibit on the island of Capri maybe two years ago something like that I'm surprised because uh, so far they haven't shut me down and sometimes I kind of uh, like to come into the openings because, well, current social mores have changed enough that uh, everybody's walking around with a cell phone and a, basically a video camera inside there, so people are getting used to uh, Constantly observed. Here are some of the smaller paintings. Well, I think this was uh, on the card. Okay, well. That was the initial sweep of the installation. Well, I'm just gonna follow the, the numbered sequence that is on the, the list here. So this is number one. Untitled Free Capri 50.37-2018 oil on cardboard mounted on linen, 63 by 48. I started seeing Mark's work probably about 12 or 13 years ago, and uh, I think we covered a show of his work at Anton Kern, I guess maybe a couple of shows, I think we covered the masks, and then uh, yeah, I snuck into uh, Larry's space uptown and uh, surreptitiously recorded a video of his sculpture number two untitled free Capri 50.30 this is all 63 by 50 inches and uh, well I think Mark is one of the more interesting painters especially when I think that he's coming out of California today and uh, gosh I I've been saying that there's kind of a, a sensibility that I see it's manifesting out there on the west coast of uh, people doing some pretty uh, painterly work, even chunky. It's 
number three. Okay, so we'll get down to some of the technical talk. It looks like Mark has laminated on a sheet of uh, cardboard. Oh, this actually looks like it's plastic. Some kind of a corrugated plastic board. And he builds up his initial ground with his of swooping strokes and uh, his little uh, squirted out <laughs> I'm not gonna say what they actually look like his little tubes little squibs of paint are kind of a new thing this is number 50.43 this is 75 by 58, so this is a little bigger. This is about 6 by 5. Well, I was uh, doing a little research today, and I, I read the press release, and someone was in interviewing Mark and asking him about his process, how he developed his compositions, and he was talking about rather than trying to constantly be coming up with new designs and new new formats that uh, he liked to kind of have a standard standard format and then see how many variations and different things he could find to play with within that kind of limited group of works this is 50.42 2018 and as I said yeah, you can go back and <laughs> see three or four episodes where I get run out, but and this kind of makes me think of uh, the funny old uh, jokes about the Berlin Wall, and it uh, seems like whenever they would have a celebration at the Berlin Wall, you know, they'd have somebody getting some kind of award, that there would always be 20 or 30 people who would run and try to jump across the wall because nobody would shoot them down in the in the no-go zone because it would be bad for publicity. So Mark likes to work with this kind of uh, standard format and okay so we've got uh, basically your darks and your lights I think also one of the other things that I like is that uh, by him uh, laminating on this cardboard, I think that there's probably some paper on the top level and uh, it has a tendency to kind of dry out the, the pigment a little bit. Well, I kind of like the yellow ones. You know, uh, yeah, I think that he's uh, maybe squirting out his little lines of paint and then s smashing them down with a palette knife. And I think the last series that I saw was called his mask series, and so there actually was kind of a a figured, basic figurative element where you had a couple of eyes, maybe, and a nose. Uh, this is interesting because he's kind of just broken everything down to a grid, and uh, the grid is kind of established by his little, well, <laughs> little turds of paint there kind of squeezed out I'm gonna keep running so this is nine and ten okay here are the the white ones untitled Capri 49.84 2017 oil on cardboard mounted on linen this is 77 by 60 it's about six and a half by five.
Well, I was saying that the, I, I've noticed a tendency over the last, I guess, probably eight or nine years of the, what I call them as the, the California Chunky Painters. I think this particular show by Mark kind of places him firmly at the center of that action. Uh, because Allison Shulnick is someone that I've covered. You can go back in the Calm Report probably, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, and we did a program of her show, or a, maybe a group show that she was in in Canada. This is 50-25. 77 by 60 and uh, Vanessa Preger I think is someone that's also a young California painter that's mushing around a lot of paint and also uh, Dennis Hollingsworth is a uh, formerly a California painter. Oh boy, I think that they're running people out, so I'm gonna have to run around this as fast as I can and just catch some of the pieces of note here. This is a nice one. This is 50.52, 79 and a half by 62 and a half. Now, I like the way that he's kind of congesting most of his brushwork here into the middle. And, uh, gosh, I think I saw Stanley Whitney come in, coming in here when I came through the door. And in a certain way, I'm thinking that uh, this also kind of relates to what Stanley is doing in that uh, the kind of the, the rhythm and the structure of these could almost be like... Uh, Looking at a jazz score, you know, you've got your your bass line and then in the back you've kind of got your chords and your tones floating around. Oh, this is another nice one. I'm not going to give you the names of the rest of them because I'm just going to run through and try to capture some good views. Uh, yeah, so it's interesting, a lot of Mark's other work was dealing with kind of a starburst form where he would have uh, basically lines of paint. Uh, diverging from one point in the center of the canvas and he played with that. Oh, I like this. He's got his little signature on the bottom. Mark Rochian MPG. Uh, but those are all kind of very controlled lines and then in his mask pieces he had uh, kind of uh, squeegee lines but they were also maybe up to half an inch thick or something, three quarters of an inch wide. I have to say, I think this is the uh, this is the gallery where they hung the really good ones. Uh, and in this latest body of work, he's really broadened out his strokes. And it's nice because his little uh, his grid of these squeezed out blops kind of lies within the uh, the other grid that he's made with his strokes. Okay, I'm gonna be moving. I'll be doing well if I can catch the last four or five. Also, uh, okay, so this is also a dark one, but he's gone more into a green side of the scale. And uh, I think Mark is very good working his lights against dark contrasts.
free compete 50.48 this is 75 by 59 okay well I know that Mark has got a lot of uh, fans in New York a couple of his uh, videos that I've done have probably hit 40,000 views and I usually get a nice <laughs> nice row of comments too uh, okay this is nice so we basically if he's reduced everything down to black white and red mostly black I think this is 95 by <laughs> they've got it seven inches but I think it's maybe 95 by 60 or 72 maybe there's a green one okay folks actually this is nice because you really can see his uh, his interior kind of uh, punctuation mark grid with his blobs of paint Okay, man, if I get this done, it's going to be a miracle. Thank you, Larry, and thank you to the <laughs> security people. They are true professionals. I'll just make a quick cursory swoop over this part. Untitled Oil and Canvas. 38 by 30 inches you know I think one of the things that I appreciate is that uh, you can really get the sense of of touch of uh, Mark getting up there and palpitating and pushing and uh, feeling the surface and uh, pressing his palette knives and his brushes in here okay this one kind of makes me think of one of his face pieces that he would have eyes that would be built up like this with the kind of the arcs okay I always like that stuff. Also, it's interesting to uh, to look at the uh, the variations in the the shine versus the matte, and also uh, his open sections of the, the panels versus the kind of congested areas of the panel. a nice little suite okay. James Com reporting on Mark Grochian new Capri 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 free Capri here at the Gagosian Gallery. You can like this, you can share. Recommend it to your friends, subscribe. You can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, suggestions below. But we always say, thank you, Kate. <laughs>